Hello guys, uh, Jared here and I'm going to review the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey directed by uh, Stanley Kubrick and uh, yes I know I have it on DVD and uh, this is one of the movies um, you're supposed to watch on um, Blu-ray really but um, yeah this is my dad's um, DVD of it, he's not really a Blu-ray guy this is uh, my dad's favourite movie and basically uh, yeah, so, yeah, this is like a science fiction film, and um, it basically starts off with um, the famous scene of the um, uh, apes, you know, um, the apes that humans evolved from, basically, and yeah, and that's a great scene, and then we fast forward to the future, um, I'm guessing in the year um, 2001, because that's the title of the film. And then, um, basically, yeah, about exploring space and, um, yeah, it's, it's, um, yeah, it hasn't got, uh, that much of a plot, but, yeah, I really, really love, uh, this movie, and, um, yeah, I would like to get it on Blu-ray, I mean, it is such a nice, uh, looking film as well, yeah, how, um, you know, Stanley Kubrick directed it, it just looks amazing, and, um, and I love the, uh, ending towards the ending of the movie is um really weird and um one bit um the uh of him going through a, a tunnel or something um it kind of i think they might have done um in the uh, second spongebob movie when um when they're going through time i think that might have inspired it and uh, of course the uh, iconic um theme to this movie of course has been used in uh, many things yeah da, 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 da. something like that yeah but yeah I do really enjoy this movie some people who think it's boring I, I don't find it boring at all I find it uh, really uh, relaxing to watch and um, really uh, intriguing as well and um, you know I love these uh, characters on the um, journey and uh you know how 9000 you know he he just has he's really quite um a scary character you know d the way he speaks you know how he has a kind of human but also kind of like robotic uh voice you know it's not like a um stephen hawking voice where he, his voice is um very um you know roboty yeah, it's emotionless as well, but it sounds like a robot voice. Um, how he has kind of a human voice, but still, you know, very emotionless. And, uh, uh, yeah. And uh, it's this is a movie that um, came out before, you know, Star Wars and before, um, you know, the moon landing as well. And, you know, considering that this movie looks amazing, I mean... You can't tell that this is from um, the 60s, you know, it just looks incredible and it's just one of the absolute um, most um, influential uh, science fiction films of all time and, um, you know, whatever you think of the film itself, you know, I personally love it but some people think it's pretentious and artsy, you know, but um, even if you hate it, um, you know, you you can't deny, you know, the the huge influence of this film. And, uh, yeah, um, <clears throat> so, yeah, the book, so it was based off, like, a short story by, uh, Arthur C. Clarke, and, um, Arthur C. Clarke also wrote, uh, a novel version of it, um, the same time that the movie was being made, and, um, yeah, he wrote a few, uh, sequels to the book, but um, the only one that was made into a movie was um, 2010. Um, all the others were never made into movies, and it doesn't seem like um, they ever will. Um, yeah, uh, I believe uh, Stanley Kubrick never wanted to make a sequel, so that's why he didn't direct the 2010 uh, movie. But um, yeah, yeah, I can't guarantee you'll enjoy it, but. Um, yeah, it's a must watch for um, sci-fi fans and you know, uh, if you're a Stanley Kubrick fan you've probably already seen this but um, yeah it's a really great film 
yeah check it out and bye